Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Watch of Yokai, and I'm back with another tips and tricks video for Yokai Watch 2. Today, uh, the day that I'm recording this, was the day of the Yokai Watch movie event. All got Hovernyan medals, and I'm going to show you that in a second. We're going to scan his code in. There's the medal. And it's Hovernyan's milk bottle cap. If you didn't get a chance to get your own Hovernyan medal like you just saw, do not worry. We have several extra Hovernyan medals that we're going to give away very soon. So make sure you follow us on Twitter and check out our Watch of Yokai Hangouts where we talk about our giveaways. And maybe you'll win a Hovernyan medal. So good luck. Let me show you where to find him. Yeah, he's not here yet. Okay, so after you finish the whole game, and if you've scanned in that code and gotten the, the milk bottle cap, then you can find Hovernyan right around here, and you can fight him once a day. A new feature in Yokai Watch 2 is obviously the Model Zero watch, which has a poke feature. And by using that, if you inspirit a faux yokai, you can then poke them and do one of several different effects. And you could um, increase the amount of money you get from the battle. You can increase damage to the yokai. Or the most important part is you can increase your befriending chance. So the tricky part is you gotta <clears throat> give them their favorite food, inspirit them, and then do the poking all before you knock them out. So if you're a really high level, you may want to try using lower level yokai. Let me see if I can get Dracunan to inspirit him. No. <laughs> so if you're too high, it's a little difficult. You need enough time to inspirit them without knocking them out. Ah, we might have better luck with this now. Ah, okay. So now he's inspirited. I targeted a different one so that I have time to poke him. Perfect! So that increased our befriending chance. Let's do it to this one also. Oh, that's doing damage. You have to find just the right spot. Where are you? A little tricky. You have to find the exact right spot for the befriending boost. And we did not befriend him, but that is how you do it. So, I do not have the soul gem for befriending yet. I think it's in English, it might be called the superstar soul. As you know, you can give yokai their favorite food, you can have a yokai on your team that increases your befriending chance. I think Shmoopy does. Um, and then I just showed you how to use the poke feature. You know about wisps. Sometimes wisps will have an increased befriending chance. And then if you can get that soul gem. So there's a lot of new ways to help increase befriending chance. I don't have the yokai required to make that soul gem just yet, so I'll have to show you that in a future video. Right now we're gonna buy some snacks because I want to go get Hanako and I will show you where to get her. 
some other important things you may want to know is that as soon as you've unlocked the metal swap app right here, you will want to start trading back and forth with your friends to complete your medallion. And one great thing is you don't need to physically have the yokai in your collection for it to count in your medallion. Um, so you could go into a trade and just trade yokai back and forth with a friend without even exiting the trade. Just trade it to your friend and then trade it right back and it will log it in their medallion and they're good to go. Um, as long as you have that yokai in your medallion, uh, it will count toward um, unlocking legendaries. You don't have to physically have the yokai, so technically you could log all of the yokai you needed for Shogun Yan and trade them all away and not have them, and you would still be able to unlock Shogun Yan because you at least have the record in your medallion, if that makes sense. So that's a great way if you and your group of friends, maybe only one of you has one of the yokai you need to unlock in Legendary, you could just trade that same yokai around and give it right back to the person who originally had it, and you'll all be able to have that in your medallion. Another great thing is as after you're done using a yokai on a baffle board, you could also trade that yokai away. You don't need to keep it. It will it will remain at the baffle board. You won't be able to use that yokai in battle obviously if you trade it away, but it won't it won't hurt your baffle board abilities. Next, I'm going to show you where you can befriend Thornyan or Badinyan. So, of course, you can fuse them. Later on in the game, you'll be able to catch another Jibanyan or perhaps in your Street Pass Wayfarer Manor. You could get another Jibanyan and do fusion. But you can get a freebie right here. All you have to do is pick which one you want. If you pick Cough Cough, you will get Thornyan. And if you pick Ruff Ruff, you will get Badinyan. So you just talk to one of them. It doesn't matter which one at first. And then when you're ready, you talk to the one that you would like to have. You can only pick one. Thornyan or Badinyan, so I'm talking to Ruff Raff because I want Badinyan. Now I'm going to run up to the school and show you how to get Hanako. Oh, I'm sorry. In English, her name is Toiletta. And then we need to make our way to the third floor and go into the bathroom. And you're going to check each stall. And if we get lucky, she'll pop out. I... There she is! <laughs> and she likes snacks. And if you would like to get Foiletta, 
you can win the diary that she needs to fuse with from the candy shop lottery. As you go about town, you will be picking up little slips of red paper with numbers on them. And that's for the lottery here at this candy shop. Let's see what she has today. You can pick lottery here. Let's check the prizes for today. And here are all the items we could possibly win. The item to evolve Toiletta into Foiletta is not here for the day, for today, so I'm going to hold on to my lottery tickets and do that at a later time. But as you can see, there are many other items here that you may want. Um, so let's go ahead and do this once to show you how it works. You pick draw. Cool. For the most part, you want to save those up until you see an item you like. And then you can keep trying and trying for it. Also, don't forget that you can get several fusion items at Jungle Hunter. So here's Jungle Hunter. So you'll need the Love Scepter and a Shmoopy. And you're gonna fuse those two together. And Squeaky and his horn. And this Memo Vac and flashback. One last tip for today that I'm going to share with you. We need to run into Breezy Hills. And you're gonna come on over here by Eddie's house and find this baffle board. And this one is Hi Nomi. I'm not able to level up my Nomi to Hi Nomi to show you this right now. But if you have Hainomi and you put him here, his baffle board ability is he will be able to give you one extra turn at the Krankakai every day. So every day you'll come over here and talk to Hainomi and he will add the extra turn for the Krankakai to your total. Those are all the tips I have for you today. Uh, as soon as I finish the main storyline, and finish unlocking everything, I'll be able to show you some more tips. As always, thank you for watching.